Ellen, Ellen, Ellen. We never take good pictures all together, so. Oh, funky. We're gonna make the film. <laughs> Ellen is our oldest daughter, and she's uh, 33 years old. Ellen became a resident at the Center for Discovery when she was 14 years old, and she was born with cerebral palsy. We noticed when she was six weeks old that she really didn't have good head control and she didn't walk until she was probably three or four years old. She would have physical therapy several times a week, OT, PT, but it really became more and more challenging for us as a family. Dr. said to Jack and I, would we ever consider a residential program for Ellen? And we really had never thought about that as an option. Things were much different 20 years ago. I have vivid recollections of the news expose at Willowbrook. These residences and programs, I, I couldn't help but think of, of that. There was one program we looked at that I cried our way home in the car saying, I can't put our daughter in this program. And we made a trip up here one day and we just saw the place and said, this is the program for, for Ellen. Jack and I are, are regulars here at the center. We like walking around Main Street in Hurleyville, getting a cup of coffee there. It's amazing the uh, opportunities the center has afforded Ellen. Ellen's worked on the farm. Ellen had a mail route when she was younger. These are things that we never even thought Ellen would have the ability to do some of these things. The center has really encouraged her. She now works with fibers and really enjoys, you know, the touch and the feel of, of the fibers. Ellen's made tea bags. When I think about the center, it's really an integrated approach to each individual. It's a combination of nature, diet. There's an individual program that's designed for each resident. The staff goes out of the way to really maximize the ability of each individual child. It's all about ability. At first it was definitely a little sad, uh, knowing like my big sister was gonna be leaving. But in the end, I'd say it's very comforting knowing that she lives in such a wonderful community where she's given 24 seven care, she has friends. I think there was also a sense of concern from David and I because I think we had like gotten a glimpse of you know, what her life was like with these other programs that were pretty institutionalized and we didn't know what her life would be like here. It became very clear pretty quickly that this was the gold standard of care. Do you want to go bye bye? Hmm? Boo, boo. Bye bye. Right, let's go. <laughs> bye bye. We're going bye bye. Guilt is something that I, I think we all have to deal with a little bit, but the guilt is actually selfish because they're getting out of her what we would not be able to get out of her. And as a result, she has grown. Parents and siblings need to get over that guilt and think of what's best for their sibling and child. One of the best gifts that the center has given us is the peace of mind that Ellen now can spend the rest of her life here, that this is her home, that Jackie and David won't have this burden, that they can come up to the center and enjoy their sister, but that Ellen has her own life and that she's well cared for that gives us tremendous peace of mind and is a wonderful gift that the center has given us. Government funding isn't enough to support a program like this. It's really through the endowment, it's through your generosity that affords the center all these wonderful things.
Center for Discovery is inspiring. The Center for Discovery is peace of mind. The Center for Discovery raises awareness. The Center for Discovery is the gold standard.